What's up? It's Dev Sage, and in this video, we'll be continuing our TypeScript series, and we'll be going over variable types. In the last video, we went over what TypeScript is, what some of its features are, and how to install it. In this video, we'll be going over some simple variable types in TypeScript. So first thing you're going to want to do is to open your favorite text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. I personally recommend it. Um, it's very useful for like syntax highlighting and error checking and stuff like that. But really, you can use whatever you want. So we're going to create our first TypeScript file. We're going to name this file main.ts. And this is the file where we're going to write all of our TypeScript code. And when we're ready to compile it down into a JavaScript file, we can just run a simple command in our terminal. So let's write something. So let's say console log. Um, let's say DevSage TypeScript tutorial. Okay, so we have our TypeScript file. So let's compile this down into a JavaScript file. So let's open our terminal here. I already have one open as a part of the integrated terminal. Um, so you want to run the TSC command that stands for TypeScript compiler. And you want to pass in the name of the file that you want to compile. So in this case, we want to compile main.ts. Run it. And as you can see, it generated a main.js file right here. And this JS file is what would be included in your browser or imported into your application. The TS files are only for our benefit, the developers. TS files themselves don't get included in your browser because your browser can't actually read TypeScript, but it can read JavaScript. Now, these files look identical because we actually didn't write any special TypeScript in our TS file here. This is just plain JavaScript. So when we compiled it, it just looked the same. So let's actually write some TypeScript. So let's delete this and let's uh, let's write let username. We're going to have a username variable and let's define a type of string. So this is how you define types in TypeScript. You define a variable name, colon, and then you can define the type of the variable that you want. OK. So let's down here set username equals to DevSage. And let's uh, let's actually compile this again. So let's run TSC main.ts. Look at that. Over here, our main.js file changed. Now, as you can see, it looks a little bit different. Our JavaScript file doesn't have that string type here because that's specific to TypeScript pretty neat. So what would happen if I gave username a type that is not string? Let's try to compile this. And as you can see, we get an error. Type two is not assignable to type string. So in our TypeScript file, TypeScript recognizes, hey, this is supposed to be a string. So when I decide to try to assign it to a variable that's not a string, it throws an error. Now, this still compiles into regular JavaScript, and this is valid JavaScript. So the browser won't actually have any errors. It's This is perfectly legal JavaScript. The TypeScript files are only for our benefits, the developers, so that we can keep track of all the different types of the different variables. But the browser doesn't really care about any of that. So. Let's keep going. So let's change this back to DevSage and let's explore some more types. Um, but first, uh, it's going to get kind of repetitive to have to keep typing out you know, this command and have to rerun it every time. So what we can do is we can put TypeScript in watch mode. So in order to do that, we just run the same command, but attach the dash W flag to it. And now 
whenever we make a change to our .ts file, our main.js file will automatically get compiled. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's explore some more types. So let's say let age, and let's give this a type of number. And let's say age equals a 23. And look at that, our main.js automatically got updated. And if we decided to give a non number value to our age, it automatically updated and it threw an error. Okay, so let's try Booleans. So let's create another variable called um, winning. This is gonna be a type of a Boolean and we're gonna set winning equals to true. And it got automatically compiled. Okay, so that's strings, numbers, and Booleans. We also have a special type called any. So if I said let, um, I don't know, my var of type any, and really we can just set this to be an inline variable, and we can set any type variables to any type. So this can be a number, a string, a Boolean, anything. Okay, so let's go over tuples. A tuple is an array with a set number of elements. These elements have predefined types. So let's create a tuple. So let's say I wanted to create a tuple of a Boolean and a number. So let's say let bool num tuple of type boolean number equals this array which is going to expect a boolean and some number so let's say 123 this is a tuple if i were to assign this tuple to some array that doesn't match this pattern for example two numbers this would throw an error as you can see here so let's say I satisfied these first two arguments here by passing in a Boolean and a number. What happens if I try to add something on, like a string? Well, this throws an error because it's expecting an array of two elements when you're giving it an array of three elements. Now let's go over some special types like void, null, and undefined. So we can assign variables a type of void. We can also assign variables of type null. And we can assign variables of type undefined. Now, it's up to you to determine how useful these are for your particular project, but just know that you can do this. So that is a little bit about variable types in TypeScript. In the next video, we'll be going over function types. So if you like this video, leave a like. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe so you can keep track of this series. And yeah, see you next time. Peace.